Depositors all over the country were frightened about the safety of their funds and rushed to withdraw them. There were runs, there were failures of banks by the droves, and all the time the Federal Reserve System stood idly by when it had the power and the duty and the responsibility to provide the cash that would have enabled the banks to meet the insistent demands of their depositors without closing their doors. The way runs on banks can spread and can be stopped is a consequence of the way our banking system works. <laughs> you may think that when you take some cash to a bank and deposit it, the bank takes that money and sticks it in a vault somewhere to wait until you need it again to turn it back over to you. Okay, how would you like this? Like two tens, one five, and five ones. Okay. The bank does no such thing. It immediately takes a large part of what you put in and lends it out to somebody else. How do you suppose it earns interest to pay its expenses or to pay you something for the use of your money? The result is that if all depositors at all the banks tried all at once to convert their deposits into cash, there wouldn't be anything like enough cash in the banks of the country to meet their demands. In order to prevent such an outcome, in order to cut short a run, it's necessary to have some way either to stop people from asking for it or to have some additional source from which cash can be obtained. That was intended to be the purpose of the Federal Reserve System.